So, Bill, pull that back a little bit, if you would. Yep. In the southeast corner of the swamp, Rick Lagina, along with his nephew Alex, Gary Drayton, and Billy Gerhardt continue searching for important clues near the potentially 500-year-old Stone Road. Keep Gary busy. <laughs> Since first uncovering this massive feature in 2020, the team has found critical clues nearby, such as ancient pieces of wooden barrels and a stone pathway, suggesting that it may have been used long ago to unload valuable cargo onto Oak Island. Now, the team hopes to find more of the Stone Road and any valuable clues that may help solve the 229-year-old mystery. There's more chain. Oh, look at that chain, yeah. More chain. Good eye. Yep, look, that's all connected. And this looks old. That does, yeah. Yeah. This is definitely not factory made. It's as crude. Hey, Uncle Rick, you might want to come look at this. Seems like the larger one would be maybe to anchor that, and then the smaller ones would be for whatever you're doing. Yeah. It's hard to tell because yeah. of all the crusty stuff. There you go, good. mate. If we're looking for signs of loading and unloading, you'd need some chains like this. Wow. Yeah, that's very cool. That's a great find, but there's more here to oh, be found. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. I've got a few other things to check in on. You know, good luck. OK. And uh, good hunting. Take it from okay, here. Mate. See you soon. See ya. See ya, Mike. OK, let's go through some more. I think that could be in that ward. Call it. It's in That's there, it. it's on top. Yep. There's definitely some iron here, you can see it. Iron oxide. Yep. Might be the top of the spike. Yeah, I'll set this aside too. Yeah, please. Well, let's see what else we can get out. Yeah. Yeah, we've still got another it in here. Thought there might be. Let's see if it's there. Sick. Oh, we've got some. Oh, 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 no! Oh. That's the pointy end of a spike. Look at the black spike in the wood. This is one of those old rose head spikes by the look at the top, that bevel on it. And that would make it pretty old, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is old. Yeah, a spike like that looks like it's from the 1700s or older. Great. This actually might be a smaller ship spike, a wharf pin. This corner of the swamp is the one that just keeps on giving. Yeah. It might indicate that it was part of a structure, right? Yeah, it's, it'll help us with our database. Yeah. yeah. An iron spike? embedded in wood? Could Billy Gerhardt be correct that they offer evidence of a buried structure? Before his passing in 2016, legendary Oak Island treasure hunter Fred Nolan reported to Rick Lagina that he had once found evidence of a dam feature in this same area, a dam that may have been used to artificially create the swamp. Could the team have just found evidence of what Fred believed is hidden beneath the South Shore Road? This is going to mean a lot to my Uncle Rick, so I want to see what we keep digging up. Well, that was a heck of a dig, mate. We got a shipload of finds. <laughs> We're going to be taking a lot of artifacts back to the lab. Absolutely. Yeah. In the southeast corner of the swamp. Looks good stuff. Jack Begley has joined metal detection expert Gary Drayton and Billy Gerhardt to continue searching for additional clues and evidence of buried structures near the massive Stone Road. That is worth digging. I think it's out. It's a little bit of some scrappy signal, but see what we got.
coming out. Here oh, it is. Oh, wow. And we have got something really, really cool. Yeah. Look at the size of that. I believe that that is some kind of fastener. Yeah. And that looks like it's raw iron. You know, we're talking 1700s or older with this. Brilliant. A potentially ancient iron fastener? Could it be related to the Stone Road, which may have once been part of a ship's wharf? Or could it be more evidence of the buried dam feature that Fred Nolan claimed to have found in this area more than three decades ago? I can't wait until it's cleaned up in the lab and we can yeah. see what it really is. That is a beauty. Come here, me little beauty. Oh. All right, we'll bag it and keep scanning. Sweet find, Gary. The following morning. Hey, good Carl. day, good day. How are you? Rick, Craig, and members of the team meet with blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg in the interpretive center to get his assessment of several artifacts that have been recovered this week near the Stone Road in the swamp. Where would you like to start? This fastener that's inside the wood. I'm looking at it, and I see one or two handmade nails inserted alongside of the bigger item. Any idea on what it might have been used for, just based on that? A lot of times, uh, things were driven into walls where you needed to hang um, lanterns or for light in tight spaces, like underground to illuminate the space. Could Carmen Lake be correct that this fastener may have been used to aid in the building of a structure in the southeast corner of the swamp? If so, could it be more evidence that the brackish bog was artificially made, as Fred Nolan believed? It makes the next finds we're going to show you even more interesting. This is a big piece of iron. OK. This is not a, a, a spike. It's a tool. Oh. oh. So is it a chisel? What is it? No, it's, it's a, called a set. It would be used to dri drive in pins to down flush or even countersink. Yeah, yeah. Might set planking in a ship, perhaps. In the timber construction of the ship. Yes. Well, what date would you give something like this? Oh, um, well, I'm going to say 16 to the late 1700s. There's always been the speculation that the ship foundered in the swamp and that it was covered up. So why were they there? And are there any artifacts at a greater depth? Maybe, Craig, you can help me sort of straighten this out. Oh, OK. Well, got a big central link here, ring, with three chains coming off of it. This hook is very old. And why is that? Because the hooks made in the later time periods had a curve in the shank. This has a straight shaft coming down and then a heavy curl on the end here. So I would say that is definitely not past 1650. And I would even go back to the 1500s on that hook. Whoa. No. Wow. 